Hi everyone, Budget Star here. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. I get asked, where do I get this information from regarding Iron Man and other information about figures and uh, movie parts, etc. I'm actually a very big fan of the art of XXX books. So when a film's released, they generally do a, I would call it a behind the scenes type of look on the films that they have. Um, obviously I have all of the Iron Man ones, which you can see here, the Iron Man 1, 2, 3, the Iron Man manual and the Avengers book. But I actually have also the X-Men ones, Terminator, Batman, District 9, which is one of my favorites, um, Aliens and Predator, some of the Marvel ones, and I have the Tech, nothing but Mech 1 and 2, and also Drive, which is all about vehicles. So I get asked, how come you know this about the Iron Man armors? How come that Hot Toys are just replicating and being lazy making these armors that are seen earlier or repainting Mark 7s, things like that? Well, I'll answer that question a little bit later on. Um, but a few people have asked, if I was to get an art of something book for, let's say, the X-Men, or an art of something book for Iron Man, which one should I get? Because I've got pretty much all of them, I'm actually waiting for Chappie that's come out. I've ordered that yesterday from Book Depository, and I'll put actually a link to that website. I think that's probably one of the best websites to pick up these types of books from. I've pretty much got all the hardback ones. Um, I find them a lot more durable. That website is great for value for money because it does free shipping worldwide and these books are bloody heavy. So if you can pick up anything with free shipping and the prices are really good from there. So check out that link if you're interested in picking these up. So I'll go through which I think are the best ones to pick up with regards to each uh, line, so, such as the Batman, Terminator, X-Men, Iron Man. So I'll go into a quick cut and you can hear my thoughts. If you're looking at District 9, I actually like mainly robots and mech. If you're looking at District 9, this is the only one that is produced, and this is by Weta. And it has an amazing behind the scenes look at all the weapons, uh, the guns, the uh, robots, even the District 9 uh, exosuit it has, all these different weapons that actually didn't make it into the final film with alien technology. A really good book. I would recommend this one if you're really into the sci-fi genre. For example, they had several different versions of the exosuits, which finally they decided on doing one. This is, for example, the exosuit 2, which is a little bit different than what's seen in the film. So I highly recommend this book. You won't see this um, from other genres that you have such an in-depth look at what didn't make it into the film. So I really recommend this particular book if you're a District 9 fan. These are the three X-Men books that I have. The one on the left, the characters and the universe is much more comic based, which is not really my sort of thing because I'm not into the comics as much. So those who are into the comics may appreciate that a lot more. The Art of X-Men 2 on the right hand side has a lot more storyboards, um, parts from the movie, scripts, things like that. But the one that I think is probably the best one out of these three is The Art of I of X-Men, The Last Stand. Just to show you guys quickly inside, it'll show you concept arts and storyboards as well. Parts of the film that didn't make it. And they had these ideas, but they didn't finally put it in because of the editing. So I think this is a really nice book. If you're going to pick one of them up, this is probably the one to pick up. That's The Art of X-Men, The Last Stand. From Terminator, I have The Terminator Sal Salvation and Terminator Vault. Both of them are our excellent books. The one on the right, The Salvation, comes with a lot of behind the scenes, storyboards, things that didn't quite make it into the film, and also 
a lot of information on the actors and actually when they're filming. So a really nice complete book, definitely on the Salvation film. But if you're going to get one, I recommend this Terminator Vault. It is filled also with these extra dockets, these files, as if you're looking at uh, files from a from a I would call it um, if you're a police officer looking at what's actually going on following up on these particular individuals etc I I was quite surprised that they included that I noticed they did that with the Iron Man uh, books as well so this I would say is the more complete really full fat coke version of these types of books and this one is called the Terminator Vault. Here are the two Predator books that I have, the AVP Requiem and the AVP. Both of them are excellent books, absolutely detailed, behind the scenes, shows some of the technology, some of the stuff that didn't make it into the film. Out of these two, I think the creature effects of ADI, this one, really, really good film, really good book I should say. And it depends on which film you prefer maybe, but just to show you some of the contents of this book, really nice detail, impressive um, photos they put on here and information. So I would say this is the one to get, but if you prefer the Requiem film, that book is excellent as well. Both highly recommended. Here are the two Dark Knight books that I have. The Art and Making of Dark Knight Trilogy. Pretty good. Very full, lot of information. I think fans will like this one. But the one that really stands out is this one, the Dark Knight Manual. I was so impressed by this. This is an amazing book that they've compiled here, where it's dockets, um, files, background information, how the tumbler was made, all these little bits of information that makes this such an amazing book and that if you're a Batman fan this is the book to pick up so that you have even more information than the films, than online. It's just an amazing book that if you are a Batman fan this is the must-have book to pick up. Here are all the Iron Man books I have. The Avengers, Iron Man 1, 2, 3, and the Iron Man Manual. I would say the best two books to buy. I don't think you can just buy one. I think you have to get two. The best two to get are the Iron Man 3 and the Iron Man Manual. Now, let me just flick through very quickly the Iron Man 3 one. The bit that I like the most is when you actually have the storyboards of things that didn't quite make it into the film. And it also has a breakdown of most of the armors that you see. For example here, it shows all of the suits. One of the main ones that people are saying, oh, Hot Toys are being a bit lazy, they should have changed it around. This is the Hot Rod War Machine 2.0 prototype and it shows everything that you essentially Hot Toys were given as the blueprints to make the figure. Marvel control what Hot Toys make in terms of how it should look. Hot Toys don't decide that. So if Marvel are saying these are the blueprints for it, make it like this into a one-sixth figure form. So this is a really nice book if you're looking to know more about the armors. So you can see here the Red Snapper, the Iron Legion, um, the War Machines, how the heads-up display was designed the different types of Mark 42s. You can see they actually have several types designed before finally choosing on that gold and red one. So this is a really good book to pick up. That's the Iron Man 3 Art of book. But this one is an amazing piece. Just like the Batman and the Terminator one, this is so much detail. It has data analysis. It has background on the Ironmonger, stuff from the first film and the second film. Lots of detail. Really, really impressed. 
And for those fans who want to know more about the, the Iron Legion, how the suits were designed, what were they designed for, it has information on that as well. Really good book overall, see? Just to show you guys, the hot rod, it was designed for this purpose. These were the, the designs for it. So essentially, this is what Hot Toys are using, along with additional information as the blueprints for the figures that they make. There's one, I just, one page I want to show you that I really liked. People sometimes think, actually, I wish they expanded on more on this. Such as in the in the Avengers when the Mark Seven, when Tony Stark gets thrown out of the Stark Towers by Loki, and the Mark Seven jumps out of the building, follows him up, suits him up in mid-flight, and flies back up to approach Loki. It has some information on this how it actually was designed how it looks how it opens out so this book is full of information that i think real hardcore iron man fans will like or fans who generally like to know a little bit more about the films because they i'm sure because i felt this as well i wish they expanded on this point in the film i wish they talked about this a bit more these books do cover that so Hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction into my art of collection. Um, yeah, just hope that you guys enjoyed it, find it useful. If you're looking to pick them up, check out Book Depository, and I'll put that link on this video. Thanks for watching, and catch you at the next video.